Good evening, this is Wolf World News with me, Brad Brigance. First to our main news tonight. In the world of Megan Junction, someone who cannot be named has done something we're not able to reveal. It is believed that the subject of this news may or may not be a well-known newsreader. We cannot reveal what, uh, sorry, the subject of this news article has or has not done. However, it is possible it has already been revealed on several social networking sites. In Parliament, Tory politician Arthur Contented has disputed the use of Megan Junctions. However, due to implementation, the majority of parliamentarians were unable to comment. More on this later. In other news, there's been a horrific landslide in Djibouti in East Africa. Yes, uh, Djibouti. It is believed 3,000 people have died. Uh, ah, yes, here's a map showing the location of uh, Djibouti. Somewhere, there's a map. No, there's no map. There's no map. Okay, that's a new one. Okay, we have some breaking news. 90 seconds ago, there was an explosion in northern Norwegian fishing port of Bodo. We can now join our correspondent out in the field, Molly Moskowski. Molly! Yes, thanks, Brad. This is being blamed on Al-Qaeda, who are believed to have been operating in the area. More on this as new news comes through. Back to our main news story, in which we were unable to reveal any further information. It seems that someone who we are unable to name due to a mega injunction has done something that we can also not reveal. However, parliamentarians are firmly silent on the issue, following the previous Ferrari regarding the super injunction against someone who we are also not able to mention. We'll have the very least on this later. Now back to our news regarding the explosion in Bodo. Molly! Yes, Brett, here I am, well within the Arctic Circle, where we believe Al-Qaeda are trying to make an impression. I'm getting news through my earpiece just now, folks. Yes, the breaking news of an explosion in Norway, where the country is now in beige alert, up from their usual state of magnolia. It has now been revealed that the explosion was actually caused by a fishing boat, which had leaked oil, and an inebriated Icelandic fisherman lighting a cigarette in the vicinity. Norway is now back to magnolia alert. Back to you in the studio, Brad. Thanks, Molly. Do keep us posted. Now to our royal correspondent, Pippa Pemberton Smythe. What's the latest with the royal family, Pippa? Amidst controversy about our unreturned census form for Balmoral, the royal family have been instructed forcibly by the non compliance team that the form must be completed as they do not wish to have to come out of their door again. <laughs> Meanwhile, the newlywed royal couple are showing signs of being financially stretched as having had to pay for their own wedding. (laughs) Prospects of the RAF job losses are adding to the strain with possible unemployment hanging over the couple's heads. Prince William and his new wife have expressed fears that an indefinite period of unemployment will bring criticism that is, is their own fault and they should be getting on their bikes and looking for work. Back to you in the studio, Brad. Wolf World News, breaking the news as it happens. Now with more news breaking this hour, here's Bob Blazer. Bob! Thanks, Brad. The controversial nuclear plant, Nuke of Hazard, is facing renewed criticism today after a man is claimed to have contracted a rare form of tuberculosis while working at the plant. The man's symptoms include loss of voice instead of sounding like a tuba every time he tries to speak. In other news, top-ranking officials and top-banking officials are meeting in a fortnight to decide Who is really top? (laughs) Troubled writer Penny Inklingson was arrested today accused of trying to cash a spell check. This is a new chapter in the saga. The acclaimed novelist was last week acquitted of allegations she tried to break into an old flat at the writer's block. That's all from me. Back to you at the main desk, Brad. And now over to our roving reporter, Mindy Maynard. Mindy. This morning, New York grave diggers went in on strike. This afternoon, the undertakers came out in deepest sympathy. Earlier today, a large hole appeared in Times Square. New York police are looking into it. In other news, a man in Brooklyn was shot 32 times. Police believe he may have been the victim of a vicious attack. <laughs> Last night in the Bronx, a truck carrying eggs collided with a tanker full of whiskey. The NYPD are believed to be on the lookout for a giant drunken omelette. Back to you, Brad. It's enough to make you hungry. Mm. Thanks, Mindy. More on that later. And now over to our sports correspondent, Chuck Balls. Today, big-hitting baseball legend Sammy Smacker denied rumours of the use of performance-enhancing drugs, despite his latest home run being hit in New York and landing in Miami. Smacker told waiting fans, I have never, ever used drugs. It's just plain wrong. And who knows what the side effects might be. I am naturally a powerful guy. And this is the way God made me. He said as he nervously stroked the hair on the palm of his hands and wiped away a tear from the corner of his eye with his tongue. (laughs) 
Henry Geraldo, Coney Island's longest serving deck chair attendant, is recovering after collapsing at work today. It took five people 45 minutes to work out how to get him up again. Back to you, Brad. Now we return to our news of the, main news of the other day. A celebrity who was spotted entering a cafe in a trendy part of town. We now join our arts correspondent, Minnie Maynard. Mindy. Well, thanks, Brad. Just to correct our early report, it appears that the individual in question was not entering, but leaving. Also, just to note that it turns out it seems that it was in fact a bistro and not a cafe. And just another thing, I can now confirm the latest news here is that it was not a celebrity in the first place. So to clear that up for the viewers at home, it was not a celebrity in the first place. That's all I have for now, but we'll keep you posted with events as they happen. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mindy. In other news, Edinburgh Zoo is closing after 200 years due to all the animals contracting a rare and fatal disease which cannot be passed on to humans, according to officials. In similar news, Tic Tac, the new baby panda that was due to join Edinburgh Zoo, has been adopted by a private collector. Across the globe, the first ever largest feet contest took place in Tokyo today. The title went to a reclusive man simply known as Bigfoot. <laughs> Pressure groups are stepping up their campaign to rename our timing system. The main issue is that the 24 is the only number that doesn't appear on a 24-hour clock. Now, let's see what the weather has in store for us with our very own Claire Voyant. Claire. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it could be barbecue weather this weekend again. Look out those tongs and charcoal. Here, as we can see, the majority of Europe is bathed in sunshine. It's hot in Hungary, baking in Bulgaria, sweltering in Sweden, roasting in Romania, boiling in Belgium, and in Spain, scorcho! However, in the west of Scotland, you may need those wellies as a cold front over the Atlantic is bringing in more rain. Up in Shetland, let me get that point there. Yep, up there is going to be windy. Back to you in the studio, Brad. <laughs> and finally, Wolf World News Corporation today announced 30% cuts in the wages of all newsreaders and reporters. Hey, that, that's news to me. Me too. <laughs> and me. <clears throat> well, what are we going to do about it, guys? Oh, I say you're going on strike. Me too! And me! Yeah, right on! Okie dokie, brothers and sisters, let's put this to the vote. All those in favor of withdrawing our labor until we get our 30% back. And a 5% raise. And a 5% raise. Say aye. Aye! aye. This is Brad Brigance for the world. F fuck. Wolf World News Corporation <laughs> saying back. I'll stop again. This is Brad Brigance for the world. This is Brad Brigance for the World World News Corporation saying thanks for watching, good night, and arise ye workers! Bop, 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 ba da bop, bop. Bong. <laughs> we are going to have a very short break now, about ten minutes, so it's about ten past nine by my watch if you're back.